Hello YouTube. So I was searching the net the other day and I came across this. It's a driver for touchscreens from Touchbase, but it's from a company called Wader. They do cool touch and I'm not sure what other product what other products, but uh, they seem to have partnered with Touchbase and they give a Mac driver for free. So I downloaded it and I tested it with Cubase and other things and it actually works pretty well. I was quite impressed. And it's free. Cool. What is pretty cool about it is you can set it up to use gestures um, like what you would do with the Mac and the touchpad. So here you've got to tap and you know you can change the drag and drop settings and all that. I think with a bit of fiddling you could get it to play quite nicely with the Cubase or whatever software it is that you use. The driver itself seems to support uh, multi-touch, but Cubase and those kind of apps don't seem to support it very well. Um, but as you can see, yeah, this, this works only with a specific brand. Um, this company has partnered with Touchbase to give the driver away for free. Um, as you can see, the, the driver has multi-touch support. I think it's up to 10 but I just tried it with five. Um, I'll leave the links at the bottom so you can give the driver a try. Maybe it works with your touchscreen. Um, like I said, the gestures work pretty well. Um, let's open Cubase and have a look. <coughs> right. Scrolling. That didn't work with the default driver in Windows, um, but it seems to be working pretty well on the Mac. And then again, the gestures option to seamlessly switch between mixer and the main door. Plugins. Ah, the slate. This didn't work well on Windows at all. Um, but I'm pretty sure the slate software uses the same software that comes from Touchbase. As you can see it's working the way it should. This is how it would work on Ra Raven. Yeah. Uh, still a few things that don't work um, like double tap tapping the track to open it that doesn't seem to work but I think like I said if you fiddled with the software and you did the gesture stuff or you changed some settings you might be able to get it to work um, that would make the flow much easier for touch um, but uh, the basic stuff works and it works quite well uh, the reason that didn't open is that it didn't have plugins always on top I changed that. It is quite responsive compared to how it used to be when I remember testing it a while ago. Um, there was quite a bit of lag but it doesn't seem to be that much now. It's not very really noticeable um, on some things um, where it has to think a bit, but in most cases it's pretty instant. Um, still getting used to the how, how everything works and that, but I'm glad the plug-in stuff works the way it's supposed to. I'm just going to let the video run a bit so you can just see some of the interaction with the, the apps. Alright, I'll leave the links below if you guys are interested in trying it. If you have a touchscreen that has this chipset or from this company, then uh, give it a try. It, it works pretty well. Alright, I'm going to say cheers and I'll leave you with uh, a song that I just recently released.
Um, yeah, so just watch the rest of the video and see if it's uh, something you might be interested in. Okay, cheers.